presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Mike in Southern California. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tom, nice to talk to you again. And I have to start out and first tell you, I love this trading room. This thing is great. This app, it works great. And uh, getting all the information, it, you're like instantly there. No delay, nothing. That's I know. Great. I Listen, Thank I you appreciate again. your growling problem with us. Your channel is in my pocket all day long. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, man. You Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, many a you avoid many upsets in your life. Your feeling of anger, jealousy, and even sadness will simply disappear if you don't take them personally. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 287, NASDAQ's up 109, SP's down 40. Gold, gold contract down $10.10, .10, trading at 1933 an ounce. We have silver down 10 cents, $22.60 an ounce. Light sweet crude off buck 51, $81 flat. Notes and bonds, 10 year note, down six ticks, trading at a price point of one hundred nine twenty-five. The thirty-year down eighteen at one twenty oh four. And King Dollar. King Dollar's up nineteen ticks, trading one hundred three two hundred nine. The euro is at one hundred nine. The yen is at trading at one forty-five, and the British pound is at one twenty-seven to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Oh, let's go into the futures first. So, you get into the futures, the bottom line, you know, right off the open out here today, they sold it down. You, the low of the day is 4458. Right now, we're at 64. And I suspect, you know, bottom line is that it's probably going to go after this because it is a little high volume low. Uh, we get uh, 39,000 contracts down there, and the above one only is 24. So the pressure's still downtown, right at, the, at that level. Now, that's in your futures. Now, watch this. If we go to the SPY, what you're going to see is that we're going to get about the same amount of volume that we had at the low on Friday. And the price at the low of Friday was 443.34. Well, we, we hit 443.47. We did 68 million, you're at 46, you know? So I suspect we're gonna do, we'll probably do around 60. You know, we'll see how this shakes out. I don't think that, I don't think it's gonna get saved on price, meaning that you're not gonna get down there, you're not gonna get a rejection of lower price. But here's the divergence. The divergence is if we, let's do the NQs. You go over to the NQs, you take a look at them, intraday first. So you take a look at the NQs, and the way the NQs are set up, you know, it's telling me that, yeah, you know, same deal, meaning we're going to probably close at the lows, which is 107 versus the 152 that we're here now, okay, because the 107 had volume at uh, 30, no, 16,000 contracts. The pop-up above is only 12, so the pressure's still down there, okay? That being said, if you take a look at the Qs, the Qs, you know, you can almost say is a, this is almost a sideways move. You're down $2.64, but you can see yesterday, you know, we did volume of 42, and you got up to a price point at the 370. You started off at 364. I don't see this thing going down to 364. I can see it going to 366.53 again, the low of today, but then you're just going to, you know, basically have uh, more sideways move. That's what this looks like. And what's holding this up, folks, okay, is the trading that was developed out here on June, 20, uh, June 9th, 10th, and 11th. You can see this quite clearly. I mean, 
there's some big numbers right in here. You know, you got one, two, three, four. You get four days with a lot of volume here. That's what's holding this thing up right there. Notes and bonds, whole different ball game, man. This is a whole different ball game. You get, you take a look at the note and bond market, and you know, right now we're at the highs of the year, literally as we're speaking, 4.217. Let's make sure of that. Let's go back a year. Oh no, the high of the year is 4.242. So we're not at the high of the year yet. We're going to be though. You know, this thing's not slowing down, man. They're selling this thing off. Uh, you know, your next stop, TY1. We did this yesterday. But it's important each and every day to tell you to keep following this up because bring this back. Because we if we break this first level, the next level down is pretty intense. I'm going back 15 years, but it's, it's the low of last year that it's going after right now. And the low of last year, come on. Okay. So you can see the low of last year was 109.10. Well, we hit 109.11 today, okay? That's telling me that we're actually going to get down as 104 or something, you know, because there's not, there's not a lot here. That's the case. That means, you know, lower price, higher rates. And then if we go over to the dollar, you know, the bottom line is that this dollar wants big numbers, man. You know, you had the wide price spread out here yesterday. You went back to the beginning of the wide price spread. You rejected lower price today at 102.18. You know, it's not a stretch to get up to this. 104.690. And if that's what we get, you're going to get some turmoil happening ASAP. If we go to the crude market, the crude's already sniffing it out. The crude market, you know, bottom line came, came down fast and furious today, 278. The year at uh, 80.98, anything inside 81.44, you know, puts it in the lower range again. So we'll see whether they're just going to go up and down in that particular market. We go into the gold market, and you know, gold looks to me like we have the 1904 coming at us. And the 1904, what that is, that's how we came off the bottom the last time, uh, going all the way back in February. That would be considered nice. You know, the bottom was 1885. The reason I'm going with the 1904 there, that's the strength, because what has happened is that you're coming into this with low volume. So when you come into it, the cool thing is when you, when you come into it with low volume, you know, bottom line, they keep destroying price. That's when you have a better probability that you're going to reject where the strength started. The strength started at that 1904 area. Dow, Dow Industrials right now trading down 292. We get the Nasdaq off 121, S&P's off 42. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Index is down 301. They get the Nasdaq off 124. S&Ps are down 43. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters, hit newsletters. It's on the left-hand side. Hit the opening call. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199, or 22%. And you get it for one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593, or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks, okay? So Basil has a great amount of archives over there. He has a... And inside those archives, there was webinars or an understanding of how he reads the market, how that Chapman wave rides the market each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, it's not going on. It's going down, I guess. That's what we're looking at. Uh, if you're looking at the Dow, down 290. So I thought I'd go through uh, some of the um, what I've been talking to you about just, I mean, for weeks. I don't know how long it's been, but I've been mentioning to you that there's a particular technique, a couple of techniques that I like to use. I use them all the time, even intraday. But this is something that uh, is really fascinating. And what I'd say to you is if you look at the 9 and the 14 period exponential moving averages, and I've got a white background chart here, and the gray line is just the closing price of the Dow. Um, so they're just three lines. In fact, let me just take this out so there really are only three lines there. Okay. So for a very long time, um, I've used a particular technique where I, I try to identify what I call, it's like an earthquake and an aftershock. And on the top, it's I call it the uh, internal high and then the residual high. And it can be a little higher or a little lower than the left, just like an aftershock can be sometimes less than the earthquake in power and sometimes more. So when I identified this, we were somewhere over here in about the 24th of uh, July, and I said, it's amazing. I'm starting to get signals in the Dow that says, using other indicators, that we are starting to get overbought, but that nine-period moving average refuses to go down, go pink underneath the black moving average. And as long as it's holding well, it means that there's just still some strength in the Dow. So as we're looking at it right now, I'll show you. This is the Dow. Yes. The left side, right side. Uh, uh, this is the, uh, I'm talking about the internal 
high and the residual high. And using a different Chapman wave technique, we managed to get the August the first high in the Dow. So we actually are short out. You have call longs from October of 22. I even have, we still have a call long from uh, 2020 in the diamonds. So what I'm looking at here is we are so close to cross we could do it today if the market closes uh, it's a down 298 for closes at about another 60 or 80 points down we're going to be really close to finally turning down but using this particular technique and actually i i, I spoke to tommy a little earlier i'm going to be setting up a, a webinar for subscribers based on these techniques nice uh, coming up in about a week uh, maybe wednesday a week we'll, we'll just finalize it today so look at the s p that already Cross negative. This is the daily chart. So you cross negative. Look at the QQQ. Cross negative. Look at the IWM. Very deeply negative with a very serious price decline. So as and look at the SMHs. Uh, this is the semiconductors. Tried to add a spectacular rally yesterday, and then it's given back a huge chunk today. Um, and you can see that pink. So now I'll go to the real charts right over here, and I'll show you the same thing. And I'm going to explain why I didn't get really overcommitted to the downside in the Dow. We are short, but the SMHs, that's a different picture altogether. And, you know, you and I have discussed this, I think, for years and years, how the semis tend to lead us to the upside and lead us to the downside, yes. not us, the, the market generally. And I've always spoken about... Uh, the, the chips, the semiconductor chips, are really the oil of the 21st century because you had oil through the 1900s, which was imperative for almost everything economic. And now you've got the semiconductor. So it's really important to monitor. So using the same, the te same techniques, we actually got short uh, the semiconductor. The 161.17 was the high on the 31st of July. So using this little doji candle and the measurement of this vertical, I know you use the same vertical analysis for your, your volume charts, and I use it using the um, indicators as well. And you can see that the high that was made on the, uh, I think it's the, four, uh, the 18th of, all of July, 160.79, um, had very had much much stronger technicals than when it went to this fractionally higher high of 161.17 on the 31st. The other thing that I'm, I talk about and I'll, I'll be showing in this webinar is how often you can go months. I mean, look at this: 159.42 was the high in November of 2021 in the semiconductor uh, event and semiconductor ETF. It plummets down to 83. And then comes all the way back. And where does it stop? Um, less than two points from the high of November, all-time high, but less than two points away from the 2021 high. I don't know how that works. It's just amazing. And now it is amazing. Looking, yeah. We're looking at the same thing on the downside with uh, bonds. We're actually looking at that at, at, with gold. So um, I waited a day for the semiconductor to see if it made a lower high, which it did. And before the open on the uh, on the second of August, because we had really shorted on the first short of the Dow, um, we went short quite aggressively. Actually, short the SMH and the SOXS, which is the three times long short position of the SMH. We took really nice profits on Friday um, and Monday early yesterday morning, and we've actually just added back to that position uh, this morning. So I'm anticipating that if, I want you to show you this because here's the daily chart on the left, here's the weekly. I haven't even got a, a sell signal in the weekly a semiconductor or the monthly. If you look at the yeah, we, it, It's interesting, Basil. It's like we had a real sloppy market, you know, in general, right? It, it, and it's, it's as if each sector really has to do some consolidating of the huge gains like the XLK, like those tech stocks. But this is interesting because if I have to, I say to subscribe, we're going to monitor now to see whether or not the Dow finally makes that pink nine period moving average to get a sell, it's in a sell signal, to get a sell mode. That's just a description. It doesn't say, oh, sell mode is going all the way down to whatever. It just says that's a designation. And But the weekly chart, look how strong it is. Look how strong the monthly chart of the Dow is. So... I said to subscribe, we're going to have to watch this carefully because we might find the, the Dow finally goes pink, but the others have really had quite a bit of a pullback 
So we could be close to some kind of a bounce, and that's what we have to monitor. But in the meantime, well, you know, you it's, you might get your number in the Dow today because this S and P is going after its lows kind of early for the day. Oh, I think we're close, you know? pretty much at the low today. I think. Right, but I it's gonna it's gonna blow them away right now. That's my point. Yeah. That, right. It, right, and I show, I see just uh, in the den I typed in this, to say that if uh, oh yeah oh well yeah we are I said if 40, uh, 50, 4452 in the S and P E mini goes. Um, that could accelerate the move to the downside so the Dow could actually also go negative. Yeah, this is a, oh, it's looking very ugly on the very short term. But these all daily charts that I see, they've got the Celsius. As I say, the weeklies haven't done anything yet. So as I say, we'll be putting up a webinar very soon. Listen, folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. Go to newsletters. You can see it right on the right-hand side, the opening call. Basil, you have a great one, safe one, and we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, John. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow down 390, NASDAQ off 169, S&P's off 57. You can see that just blew by Basil's number inside the Dow Industrials, that's for sure. So that thing's going to be pink. Let's take a look at the ES Mini for a second, because it not only went after its lows, it blew these things away in, like, like in a heartbeat. Look at that baby. Oh, that's, that's a monster ABC down. Yeah. So now you have... Okay, let's see this one for a second. So that's what, 91? No, it's not going to be that big. 
65. So you got, that's only 26. You probably already hit it. There's two. Yeah, we're already by it. That, that, would, that would actually put it at the uh, 4452. Look at that volume there, though, man. Okay, so now let's look at how this is going to be, how it's going to be set up on the SPY. Okay. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ward, as we do each and every Tuesday at uh, the 3.30 hour. Don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every trading day at Ord dash oracle.com that's ord or d dash oracle.com tim ord what's going on well i sent you over actually quite a few charts i don't know where to begin we can cover the gold market or we can look at the uh s and p's wherever um, you want they're all red man <laughs> yeah well actually we, we can uh, do chart one i guess okay uh, to begin with yep and uh anyhow i, I kind of got it all uh, I do a lot of stuff with six and trend. We actually covered this last week. I did get long, uh, I don't know, a couple, three, four days ago. I forgot exactly what day it was. But anyhow, I still think um, there's probably a bottom in here. This is option expiration week. Okay. Which normally has a bullish bias. And I think last Friday I got a trend close of 1.79 and a minus 414 down to greens. And I got that listed on the chart there. Yes. And about three to or yeah, three days later, I got a trend close of 1.17 and a 200 uh, down to a 208 down tick reading. And usually over the years, I found if the trend closes at 1.2 or higher, and at least minus 200 down tick readings the same day, usually you're looking at a low in that vicinity. Usually within two days. Well, we've gone over, you know, over a week now, and we're screwing around with this gap area that happened. I got a list of their open gaps, and that's a pink area. Yes. And that gap formed on, I think it was July 14th. We had 91 million shares. And we're into that gap right now, and uh, we're, looks like we're almost closing that gap as we're put, as we're talking right now. That's correct. I still think, uh, I think we're probably going to find support uh, in this vicinity. Uh, the reason why, if you go down below the, volume chart yep and you see the vix there i do and so yeah so what's happening here you know the sps are making lower lows over the last you know week two weeks week and a half wherever it is and if you notice the uh vix is also making uh, lower highs so normally if vix trades opposite of the S spys so if, if the SPY goes down, makes a new low. The VIX should make a new high. And that's not happening here. You know, we made a higher high back in, I don't know what date that was. That was a Friday or so. Yeah, the last high Friday. out here was the, let's see, I can't see it either. The 8th, yeah, 8th of August. Eighth, yeah. Eighth, eighth, so that's a week ago. And now, um, yeah, even... Even with today's decline, we still haven't broke above that uh, August eighth high. Right. So that's a, that's a small divergence, but over time it works pretty well. So that's kind of a short term deal. My call is we'll still end up this this week. Could be wrong, and this gap area we're in right now, we're not blown through that gap. You know, to get through a gap, you at least need ninety one million shares to get through the gap. And today's volume is not going to do it. And we right. got volume. So, you know, Tim, what, let me ask you right something. Now, what, do, what, do you do, what do you do when so, that, you know, I understand what you're saying because we're both hit the volumes. What do you do when, yeah, you're not getting the volume, but the price isn't holding through even the gap? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it's, that's true. But yeah, expiration week, I tell you what, of all the weeks yeah, that right. just have kind of screwy stuff, right. they all come during expiration week. And actually, the week before expiration week, sometimes you get a little screwy. Yeah. So, so I'm thinking way. they're just shaking it out here. Yeah. And, you know, we'll know by Friday what, you know, if, if, no, no, if my sure. uh, analysis comes out right or not, because either we get fine support in here or yeah. we don't. Right. Uh, so, um, but I got enough, we got enough ticks and trend. 
to say we got enough panic to find a low in this gap area. And, okay. And the VIX kind of helps support that idea. Okay. So, but let's flip, let's flip to, the, to the next chart. So I'm saying I'm bullish. I think we go up to okay. um, to the next higher gap, which is the uh, August 2nd gap up around 454. So let's flip to the second chart. Yes. Now, this chart, we actually, we, we talked about this back in April, May when we're on the radio. And yes. We were talking uh, that eight, the April May period where the market was going sideways, and we were talking, and a lot of people in, in your trading room were bearish in that time frame. Yes. And the reason why I stayed bullish, and the market kind of just went sideways; it went up and down, up and down. But the reason why I stayed bullish because because of this chart. Right. And the the top window is VIX. The second window down is a three-day average of the SPY VIX ratio. And this ratio, a lot of time, leads the way for the market. So a lot of times you'll find bullish divergence at bottoms and bearish divergence at tops. Um, and so we did, back in that April-May period, that ratio was making higher highs compared to the previous highs, where the S&Ps was making pretty much just matching the previous highs. But I always said in the past, the SPX ratio a lot of times leads the SPYs. Right. And so I stayed long. Anyhow, it turned out to be right. So what I want to talk about now is uh, currently, if you look at the last box to the right, yes. which is the current time frame we're in right now, we're basically higher than the early July lows. Right. But if you, if you look at the ratio, it's lower than the higher. So... So I'm not contradicting myself here. No, no, I get it. Market, I get it. I get but, it. Uh, but the, the market rallies here, which I think it will. I don't know how high, but if it does rally, this this ratio is leading. So the next rally up, you want to go short because this ratio suggests that at some point we're going to make lower lows in the SPYs. Right, and that's that's so, that's that's the key. Yeah, I got it. Right, I can see that. Right. Right, but if if you notice that little um, um, swing up we had here over the last week and a half, yes, on on the ratio, yes. Well, that's that swing down on the daily chart on the first first chart. Right. Just stay with us a second. We're going to a quick break. Right. Tim and I are going to be coming right back, folks. We have the Dow Industrials down 379, Nasdaq's up 164, S&Ps are up 56. Tim and I are coming right back, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Talking with our man, Mr. Tim Ord. We are talking markets out here. And don't forget, folks, you can always get hold of Tim at Ord-Oracle.com. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 390, NASDAQ's off 171, S&Ps are off 57. So, Tim, do you want me to go to the next chart here, or do you want to stay on this one? Uh, well, it's up to you. You got any questions about it? No, no, I, I understand it. I, I, I think it's, uh, you know, I, I get it. Like, it, 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 we have a real sloppy market. The, the intriguing yeah, thing sloppy. here. That's pretty much it. Yeah. yeah. No, so it it's is. It's kind of hard to. Actually, I, I sent over chart number five. Okay. Did you get that one? I, if I have it, we will. No, I'm sure I'll have it and I can get it up for sure. Uh, we'll get this up. Uh, yeah, I kind of did some stuff, and I, the other one was kind of confusing. I tried to. That's all right. Make it more just clear. give me, just give me one second. Uh, well, Jacob will put it right inside the rest of this. We'll go to. Let, let's do. Let's do chart five. One second. Okay, I just sent him a text. He'll get that one up. Why don't we go to then? Uh, Want to go to four right now? We'll do we'll do three four, and four, and then by four. that time he'll Funny. have five up for us. All right. Right. Uh, one of your uh, listeners emailed me, and they wanted to, to cover it. And actually, he's got a good point. Uh, his name is Hector out of California. Okay. Cool. So, but um, anyhow, chart number four. Uh, uh, three. The blue. The blue. A uh, four. You huh? want four? Four. Okay. Well, we can do five. Five is just a little better. Um, let me but. just see if he's got five up yet. One second. Hold on. I don't have five yet. And I what right. happens, Tim, is that I don't take emails on this, and I just... Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. One second. No, no, no. I know how to do this. One second. When, when you sent this over, this would have been, let's see... A half hour, hour ago. Okay. Uh, hour... So, I must say, yeah, one second. Apologize for being no, late. No, don't on. worry, just, don't worry, man. I think I got this. Okay, so. They look similar. Oh, yeah, no, five. I can see that. I can see what you're looking at. Okay. Hopefully he gets this and get it up. Let, let's just do another chart until then, all right? Because he'll right. he, um, get it up for us. Well, we can do chart four. Okay. And uh, chart four, anyhow, the, the blue area is when both those indicators on the bottom are above minus 10. And the, the pink areas are when those two indicators are below minus 10. And what I want to point out, he actually got a good point. There's a gap on August 3rd. Um, I forgot what the gap. Or, uh, there's a gap there on um, see, you know, uh, uh, the March. I think it was March 13th. Okay. I got a, a gap test. We're testing that gap today, and that gap had 57 million shares uh, tested, and it came in at 
2834. Well, we'll get below that. So we're actually testing that gap right now. Yeah, and now, what, folks, we're I'm, talking about the GDX now. We went from the S&P to the GDX, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is a GDX. No, no I can see that, so, right. Uh, so, you know, we're testing that gap. And what chart five will show, which it doesn't really show in chart four, but you see that double bottom back in uh, March of uh, this year, double bottom on GDX. Yep. So made about double bottom. Well, if you go down to those two indicators below it, you'll notice the first, uh, for the second bottom is higher than the first bottom on both those indicators. Right. So that's a bullish divergence. Okay. Now so I get chart my, five, Tim. Tim, I got it. All right. So let's, let's, let's chart five. Okay. So now I got boxes around that. You know, there's yes. a red box around that March time right. frame. And so I want to point out, and I got that circled in gap right around, around there. We're running into that gap today. What I want to make a point on is both both those bottom in, two indicators did a positive divergence. In other words, as the S&Ps were making a lower low, yep. both those indicators were making higher lows. Right. Well, if you also go, go into the top in um, May yeah, the May period, the S or the GDX made a double top, and That's both right. those indicators made lower tops. Right. Okay. And now you take into the current time frame, which is the red box far to the right. Yes. And the S and P's are making lower lows, and both those indicators are still making higher highs. And we're running into that gap, and the gap had uh, uh, fifty-seven million shares back on the March 13th. Yeah. So we're not going to hit 57 million shares today. No, because so, right now, folks, we only have 14. All right. Now, that the, the, even the day prior to that, we had 35. So there's no doubt. Now, I can see that. Right. They, they right. We know they make the gold market hard, man. I mean, because the gold contract also, Tim, the gold contract, that's where I'm, my take is that the gold contract is looking to go to this um, 1904 level. And the 1904 level is actually the same day that that gap is at, you know, and the, you know, we hit 1927 today, but, you know, that strength when we came off that low is 1904.10. I mean, you know how that, right. I mean, it just, it, what happens, folks, is that gold, you know, goes higher than it should, like 1924. Exactly right. The the, the uh, you got to have people throw in the towel, I guess. Right. Uh, yeah. And and that's how these markets work. You know, the the harder they throw in the towel, the the more massive yeah. the bottom is, or whatever. And you can see, but, man, this this gold market, Tim, has been trying. I mean, you know, for the amount, it, it's been a slow razor blade cut on the way down. Right. I mean, yeah, on this particular one down. Yeah. Because this these two indicators on the bottom. You know, it never fell below, uh, or fell below, you know, the the minus 10 area just recently, you know. So, if and that's kind of unusual. Usually this indicator, the, those, bot those bottom two indicators, usually get you out pretty close to the highs. Okay. If you look, you know, look on history. Yeah. And this one around, you know, the market, you got in pretty close to the lows, but it never got you out until pretty much for break even over here a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, if you notice, you, you got in about, oh, can't quite tell. Looks like about 29, and it got you out about 29, give or take. And so it was kind of a break in. Normally, that would get you out closer to closer to the highs, up around maybe 31. Yeah. Um, and it didn't do it this time, which is kind of strange, but, you know, indicators are indicators, but you still have a positive divergence here. Three, which is so huge. So I'm still thinking right. uh, this market is still about ready to turn up. So, um, they never anyhow, said it was going to be easy, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I never. Yeah, it is. It is. If, it's, if it's easy, you're doing something wrong. Yeah, <laughs> totally, man. Uh, totally. Look at totally. It. Wait, so, well, listen, man. It's always a pleasure. Uh, you know, it's there's no doubt. It's wild. We of course look forward to having you back on Thursday, Tim. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks so much. And listen, Tim. Uh, listen, folks. You can get hold of Tim every trading day at Ord dash oracle.com that's o-r-d dash oracle.com stay right there folks come right back we have the dow down 360 nasdaq off 156 s&p's off 52 we'll come right back
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Dow. Dow's up 349, Nasdaq's up 156, S&P's up 52. If you want to see something heavy, folks, tomorrow morning, Target's coming out with numbers. Well, Target's in it. It's blowing away a B point today with volume. It's in an ABC down. It's trading 125, 120, 101 is your price projection. So it's pretty intense, man. This has been a one-way route on the way down. You can see this on the daily. The daily needed uh, 8.2 million, and we're going to do probably around 8.2. You know, it's 7.9 right now. Hold on. Is that 8? That's 8.2. We're at 7.9. It's going to do 8.2. It, it'll, it'll do over that. That's on the daily. You can put this on a monthly, and you're going to see it's a mess, too. It's a real mess. It's pretty amazing, actually. You know. And then if you take a look at it, it looks like me like we're coming all the way down here where this whole run started. The run started in 2019. It's all the way up to a price point of uh, 268. And if that, you know, it's bad enough, you're at 125. We get 101. That's where this thing started off from. Started off from, it's actually a little lower than that, but that's where there's some real strength. That's what it looks like. So tomorrow they are looking, they, they come out at, uh, before the market opens, they're going to be looking to do 24.9 billion in the top line, a dollar fight at the bottom line. I'm not quite sure, you know, what the heck's happening with Target, but it doesn't look like it's any good. <laughs> That's, that's the real bottom line. That, that's about as intense as you get for a store like Target. I'm not quite sure the, you know, maybe Walmart's getting all their business now. 
Because Target's, you know, I never went to Target a lot. You know, I've been in it three or four times. But I always said, you know, last time, it seems like they're, like, a lot more expensive. If you're going to go to a discount, it's like, depending what you're going to get. I mean, you know, we can't beat Walmart. That's the bottom line. <laughs> whether it's fishing gear, whether it's camping gear. I mean, that's the only reason I go to those places anyway. I don't buy clothes. I just don't. In Florida, you don't need clothes. <laughs> you need clothes, but not many. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. We'll get him, folks. Building